All right, they didn't have what I wanted. Actually, they didn't have any dog food. They had some cat food in a little bag, but they didn't have any dog food. They had like a bunch of doggy treats, which dogs can live off that. Dog treats are like bad food is for us. You know, food that you shouldn't be eating on every single hour. So I'm going to try to find somewhere where I can find some type of uh, dog food. Remember where I got the last bag of dog food? It was really cheap. You know, since the layoffs, I went out and bought cheap food, and I bought a cheap bag of dog food, and I forgot where I got it. Mm. Is HEB probably? I don't know. I guess I'll try HEB. Hope they don't have something for a good price. Just for me, I we just need just enough to get me to the next payday and to Monday when I get paid from one of my clients I gotta pick up that check Ugh. you know I had about two weeks off now I don't like it I don't know um, if I had a, you know when my business takes off that's still a job you know it's still a job and so having to work on projects and call people and you know where my job is my business or my business is my job then that'd be great you know but at this time I don't have that many clients I only got a few and it's not enough to you know pay for my way of living on a constant basis and secondly it's not uh, keeping me busy so for the last two weeks I've been doing a lot of vlogging when I had to go out and take care of business, when I'm at home not doing anything, I don't vlog much because I don't know if you heard my last part, podcast, 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 vlog, whatever. Uh, well, you know, I said my wife doesn't like me to videotape inside the house, and she doesn't want to be in the video as well. And so, when I'm at home, I can be doing a lot of vlogging, but because she is uh, doesn't want me to videotape inside the house. That kind of reduces my uh, my chances to be long a lot less, unless I go somewhere. Like right now, I have, I'm going somewhere. When I get back home, I probably won't go anywhere else the rest of the night. That's gonna be it for the be long. Maybe I'll walk the dogs one more time, and that's it. You know, so it's, it's different. Oh, um, I was outside this morning, or like an hour ago, actually. Uh, I was talking about the different uh, videos I saw on the Internet. Karen Klein, a lot of you have heard of her. She is an older lady, 68 years old um, is what I heard. I'm not sure her exact age because a lot of people say 62, 58. 
one person says 70. But whatever age is, Whatever age is, um, she talks about, uh, well, whatever age is, uh, there's a video that was taken by, definitely by someone's mobile phone camera on a school bus, and she's a school bus monitor. Now, she's an older lady. She probably is not making enough money on retirement or Social Security or whatever she has right now. Whatever kind of money she's getting, she's definitely not making a lot of money. So she has to supplement her income by monitoring a bunch of rowdy ass school kids who doesn't have any respect for older people. But how I found this video was um, my wife actually showed it to me a few months ago, or a month ago, whatever it was. I don't remember exactly when. Um, and I was like, oh, wow, that's, that's messed up, you know, but I found another video today, and this is how I started watching videos about um, bullying, you know, bullies. And she was talking about all the different kids that are being teased in high school and how they cont contemplate suicide as a way to get away from it. Um, they, no one helps them. In fact, what can the school really do about it? I know uh, President Obama has gone, made some conferences about, uh, a press conference about stopping school violence and school bullying, but really there's not a whole lot you can do um, outside of harsh punishment for those who do bully. For those of you who did that when they were, when they were kids, shame on you, because I was one of the ones that you picked on. And I never contemplated suicide, no. I wanted to live, because I knew there was a lot to live for. And I lived a good life. Um, I experienced all kinds of great things in my life. And I would have missed it all if I had thought about suicide and actually went through it. But even today, I'm 40 years old, and I think back about all the time that I was bullied. And it still hurts all the rude things that people say. And it's, it is not the, the beatdowns and the pushing and the selling of your money, your shoes, you know, all that stuff that happened. In my middle school years, uh, middle school, it was junior high school was, was remembered before, but they changed to middle school when I went to middle school. But during that time, I had the worst time of my life. Uh, People beat me down, people stole my shoes, my lunch, my money, my wallet, you know, just uh, a bunch of things that were just incredibly harsh. And it wasn't just me, it was a lot of nerds and geeks who were just bullied every single day. So, um, you know, um, even today I, I'm like, oof. It's it just it's just heartbreaking. Um, when you see those kids, see we didn't have YouTube, we didn't have MySpace or, you know, <laughs> MySpace, right? Uh, I had a my in fact I still have a MySpace page. I just haven't been to it in a while. But uh, we used to have, we don't have YouTube, we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have Twitter. And these days, there are two ways to bully somebody. You can either beat them up or talk about them while they're in school, in person, or you can go on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook and talk about, about them like dogs to all their school friends. And that's another way. In fact, there's been a lot of family channel, the Disney Family Channel, I think it's called, uh, where they talk about social media bullying. And um, that's harsh, too, because all your friends, and then you come to school the next day after they talk about you, talk about you slept with Ron or Bob or something like that, or they talk about how they caught pictures of you sucking dick, you know, and they somehow photoshopped a, a picture of you when you probably were laughing like, ha, 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 and they took your head and, eh, and they 
yeah, um, I'm not going to describe the whole entire thing. But um, they could take pictures like that and make it look like, and it would look photoshopped, but it would still be funny. And the kids, they'll just make a big, huge deal out of it. Okay? According to them, it's the funniest thing they ever saw. That is still bullying. And Karen Klein was a part of that bullying by kids. I think what made that bullying worse was the fact that these are young kids bullying an elder. Man, I never did stuff like that, ever in my life. I never bullied anybody, talked about anybody in a bad way in front of them, especially. Yes, you know, if, if I'm talking about my boss at work or I'm talking about somebody I work with, it's just between me and that person that I'm talking to. And the only way that person finds out about it is if me and my friend break up and then he goes and tells that person that I was talking about them. That's the only time. But really and truly, I never talked about someone in front of them before, you know, and never really said anything bad about it. I was like, yeah, he's fucked up and he has a bad attitude and for some reason we don't get along. You know, we just don't click. Just like my last boss. For some reason, we just didn't click. And that's the only thing bad. I mean, he's not a bad person, you know, as far as, as, far as I know. You know, he's not a bank robber. He's just not a, uh, a person that goes to a theater and shoots people up. We just don't click. That's why we don't get along. So bullying is uh, definitely something that I experienced before in high school. And uh, I haven't experienced since. Uh, I experienced a little bit of bullying in, in the Army because I was big. And, you know, even though I made tape every, every um, tape time, you know, it's still, you know, considered bullying. And uh, it's like, damn, these young kids right out of high school. No wonder. Now I was 29 years old when I joined the Army, going to the Army with 18-year-olds, 17-year-olds. Yeah, that was pretty rough. But, um, I don't know. I, I, I just think it's wrong. It's just wrong. You know, these kids need to respect their elders. It's like it's wrong to be a bully in the first place, too, no matter who it is. I don't care if it's a mongoloid child with one leg and, a, and, a, and one eyeball, okay? That person does not deserve to be bullied. I don't care if that person is is the most handsome person in the world. That person does not deserve to be bullied. You can't just throw this out too much, guys.